Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. Whether you are a student or professional, if you are looking for a secondary operating system for testing applications without messing up with your current setup, you have come to the right place. In this video, we will guide you through the process of installing Windows 11 as a virtual machine using VMware Workstation 7. This is going to be a step by step process to installing Windows 11 with Microsoft online account. However, if you want to remove your PC from my Microsoft online account. I will show you the process how to do it in the, this video. Let me tell you a very important thing here. If you have VMware Work Extension 17, you can avoid lots of errors while installing the Windows 11. You can see in this picture. So when you have a VMware 16 Pro or below that, you get this error when you're trying to install Windows 11. It says that this PC cannot run Windows 11. Right, they say that this PC cannot does not meet the minimum system requirement to install this version of Windows. So just I would request just go ahead and download the Windows 11 and now it's free. I have already created a video where you can go and download the VMware Workstation 17. So go ahead and download it and then you try to run this setup. So let's dive into the okay. You can see here this is VMware Workstation and uh, I have a VMware Workstation 17. You can see this is 17 version. Now let's try to install Windows 11 latest version. So we have to go to the typical click on the next and uh, for ease of installation you just select this install disk and browse it you have to point this to your ISO the latest ISO of Windows 11 so this is one which we have downloaded in the last video if you want to know how to download this Windows 11 you can go ahead and watch it on my channel I'll keep this video link in the description click here and it says that this Windows 11 detected now click on the next it says that Windows 11 64 that's fine you can select the location as per your requirement but i would like to go with the default one now click on the next and this one it says that they want the encryption okay let's put the inscription here encryption is for your protection so it will protect your windows 11 file change by any other third party or kind of viruses or stuff so click on the next and it says that you select your storage so you have a two option to select the storage whether you can select the single storage or you can split into the multiple files so i would always recommend to go with this storage and here it says that uh, 64 GB you can select depends on your requirement if you want to give the 500 GB of the space you can go ahead and use the 500 GB but here is the minimum requirement is 64 GB so I would go with the minimum requirement of this PC and select this single storage now click on the next and it says that do you want to customize the hardware let's say by default uh, it has taken the 4 GB of the RAM and this processor is two process so when you go to the processor don't forget to select this one the virtualization and then uh, CPU counter information but you know some of your uh, motherboard this is not supported and uh, you have to go and enable the virtualization in your BIOS yeah so go to the just check your manufactured BIOS and go ahead and enable the virtualization on it and once you enable it come back here and then uh, enable this 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 will improve your performance of your virtual machine now it says that 4 gb you can go ahead and uh, change the ram from here you can select the 16 gb 8 gb depends on your requirements for me let's keep it 4 gb itself okay and now it's everything is good just click on the close you can change the network adapter also you can go ahead and select the bridge mode bridge mode means that it will directly get the ip address from your router this virtual machine yeah or if you keep the nat it will be natted but internet will work on the both the connection bridge either bridge or the nat so let's keep it nat itself and click on the okay and it's time to so you can see this is power on the virtual machine after creation creation that's fine let's click on the finish so it's creating the disk and after creating the disk it will create the virtual machine okay you can see here this virtual machine is created and now it's automatically power on this virtual machine and after that the installation is same how you do it on your physical machine this says press any key so i just pressed any key to that so that the windows will continue now let's follow the process how we do it so click on the full page and we'll wait for this uh, window to come and ask for the details and now he says that language to install so that's fine english united kingdom is good for me and the time and currency so time and currency i'll select this uh, since i'm from india so i would select english india here let me find okay here is the english india in the list select that and this is the keyboard method so keyboard method for us is us so just select the us and click on the next and it says that install yes go ahead and install it so when you have a older version of our operating system you get stuck here itself it will not move further from here so now you can see i have it's asking for the key i'm going to test it so there is no key for there's no key required for this as so i select this i don't have the key here and i say 
save that which windows version you want to install you can see this is all 64 bit version so for me um let me go with the windows 11 pro and click on the next it says that this is the update of 2021 that's not a problem because the next and here we have a two option upgrade or customize so let's click on the customize and it says that your total space is 64 gb i know it because i'm i'm the one who assigned this and i click on the next and click on the apply it says that additional partition it will create fine go ahead and do that so now it's created two additional partition one is system another one is reserve i don't have any problem with that let's click on the next and this uh, copying the file will begin it's going to take some time so you can have if you want you can grab the copy quickly and come back since then it will uh, copy all the files so now you can see um, after copying the file windows is starting is starting all the services you have to be patient to install this windows it will take a few minutes of time now i can hear this lovely windows sound and uh, it is going to ask us to select your country and region so i'm from india so let's select this india click on the yes and it says that which keyboard layout layout you want to add so as i said that for us us is the keyboard layout so click on the yes and say that you want to add a secondary layout if you want to add your secondary keyboard layout let's assume that you are from saudi arabia right and you want the arabic language to be added or if you're regional language also let's say if you're in india if you want to uh, add any regional language you can go ahead and select that so for me i'm not going to do that so let's skip it and move it to the next step so guys internet is required to follow this process so your pc must be connected to the internet in terms of getting this stuff so mine is like connected to ethernet so it didn't ask for uh, to uh, connect to the wi-fi and all but in case of you are installing this windows 11 on your laptop you have to connect with the, your Wi-Fi. So it's upgrading something and it says that your PC will restart before you continue. That's fine. It's upgrading something and it says that you can see this is going on the reboot mode. So it restarted again and once it back, we'll see what, what it's, it's going to ask us. Okay, so now it's asking about the device name. So we can see lab PC. This is my lab one. So just click lab PC. Okay, so now it's asking about whether you want to use for the personal use or school or work so obviously this is going to be uh, personal use for me so i'll select that and now it will ask you that once you sign in you'll get these options so let's sign in with that so there is a method also guys you can uh, skip it up it's going to skip this all this process but uh, if you request me, then I'll go ahead and create the video of you on that. For now, let's proceed with our online account. So it's asking about our online account. So in the online accounts, we have to add our... So okay, you can see here, I have added my account here. Now click on the next. It should ask for the password here. Password is click on the next. So it's adding my account to this PC. It'll be the quick one. It's not going to take much time. It says that there is already one PC added to my this account. Do you want to restore this PC? Um, I don't want to restore this PC. The reason being I'm going to set it up with the new PC. So you can click on the more option here and the more option is say that set up a new PC. So click your set up a new piece and again it's asking about that uh, you want to restore the data no i don't want to restore the data just set up a new one okay it's asking about the create a pin fine let's create a pin here okay it's created so instead of asking the password you will be logging with this machine with the pin now it says uh, the privacy option so to be honest i don't want to enable all the services so i'm going to disable it for you if you want you can go ahead and uh, enable it click on the accept and it says that you want to customize for your experience for whether you are a developer development entertainment gaming a school and creativity i don't want to answer it so just click on the skip and it says that you can use your pc with the android so you have to scan your qr code and iphones so i just wanted to skip it and it says that you want to bring your all history everything on your edge browser i mean what it says that if you have a google chrome or something and you're using all this uh, you're browsing the website through that and if you want to microsoft edge it will bring all your history from google chrome to to the edge but i don't want to do that so let's click on the not now set it up it's setting up our account here okay and finally says that uh, going finalize our opening say that it's make a few minutes and finally the justice day you can see now we have a windows 11 on our screen i'm very happy and this is the latest version you can see this upgraded to the co-pilot ai you can see click co-pilot and say let's say 
let's say hello to him in the first thing hello let's see what is the reply hey how can i how can i wow perfect so um so you can see one thing here uh, when you are in vmware environment when you install this uh, freshly install this windows 11 on it the screen is very small you can see very small so it, that means it does not have a zia drive right install the vzia drive how do you do that um to go to your virtual machine right click on it and click on the install vmware just select click on here and it says install what is that is it mount one iso to the system then it will try to install it go to this the installer mounted icon here and it says the auto you have to wait for a few seconds so that this auto play can execute or if you don't want to wait for this auto installer click on double click on that so it will run the program so you just see the difference let's install you can see this screen is very small here and the moment this get installed you can see it come back to the original size of your or of your of course depend on example let's click next all back files and the screen is automatically resize according monitor size yes so always whenever this is not applicable this is not only applicable for windows 11 any operating system which you are going to install in vmware must install click on the finish is asking about the restart uh, I'll do it, but you can know. And so, as I said in the starting of the video, how do you want to remove your online account? So, before that, let me show you one thing. Let me show you the account. Let's go to the start settings and click on the account. And it says that this is showing you the account, DITS, and this is the outlook.com, the online account. Now, uh, for some reason, I don't want this online account present on, just want the offline account. So, we have to go to, again, we have to scroll it down and we have to come, come to the account setting in the inside the account setting, account info. Click here and it says that. See Microsoft account, sign in with local account state. Now you can notice here, you say that this is the Outlook account, it's showing to you. Let's switch back to our local account. I say that, uh, are you sure? It's asking about uh, the password of my Outlook. Authenticate yourself so that allow your local account. So you say this is with the username and what would be the new password? This, you type the password, you type the password, pass next. Uh, password that you enter does match. Press next. And it said uh, sign out and finish. Sign out. So it's signing out from my, and then it's allowing me to log. You can see this is the pin nothing has changed due, uh, for uh, login here add the pin log in the password deleted okay you can see here i'm logged in with my password you can see i have logged in with the local account let's verify it so click on this again on the start and then settings and inside the settings we have accounts here again and now in the account this is the local at night how simple and easy it is and if you want to go back and add the same account you have to go and select with the sign select with uh, sign in with the microsoft account you can go ahead and log in again with the microsoft same account which you have added to it or you can add the dish so i think we have covered all the topics today we have created a virtual machine in vmware 17 then we have installed the windows 11 top of that then we have the re removed online account and then we have added the local local account right so that's it for today's video guys if you have any questions query or any feedback related to this video please do let me know in the comment box thank you very much for watching